All right, let's get back into this. Immediately into a loading screen. Maybe I should. Uh, <laughs> maybe I should edit out the loading screens. Day seven. Let's hope it was calm again. It was. Excellent. Uh, hungry, tired, that is fine. Let's collect this moonshine. What does Katia say? I've been around more than any of my friends and relatives. I've met famous people. Readers found my interviews funny and incisive. When I try to write down my experiences, I'm stuck. I want to find and hug my folks, not write about them. I wish I'd seen them more often. And that's, that's the first thing we hear from her. Uh, Marco's still to sleep. Bruno, tired. Marin, slightly wounded. That's better though, should be able to recover a lot easier. I think I made some filters last time, so we should be able to get some water going. Slowly. <clears throat> okay, where's actually I know I may have overlooked something before. So yeah, next thing <coughs> hard to say if we get the herbal workshop prepare meds that well before we can do that we actually need to create uh, what's it called? Um, pure alcohol, but we don't we don't have the ability to do that. So I think the next thing is to upgrade this, which requires parts. And that's the thing I overlooked: is making this advanced workshop. Perhaps should have done that before making a second one of these. Um, <clears throat> because yeah, getting hold of four parts might be a bit tricky. Uh, we w will at least have alcohol, we can trade for parts, but that de relies on the trader having the parts. You never know what the trader's going to have, if they're going to have the stuff you want or not. So we just got to cross our fingers. We can make more alcohol. We don't have that much water, but two bullets, still not a lot. <clears throat> I do kind of want to go into some of the more dangerous areas soon because I can show off a bit of combat and I can collect you know quite a lot of valuable stuff but it might be tricky I'm, I might have a crack at it uh, this this evening um, because yeah there's not much else I really need to make um, how many weapon parts do we have not that well none at all uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll give it a go. Marin, recover. No one else really needs to do anything. I could make a few more filters for water. But we'll see. <coughs> if nobody arrives before midday, I'll probably just skip ahead to the end of the day. Uh, in the meantime, let me remind myself what I have. Actually, I'm looking for parts. I think I do have some lying around, or is it just... That's just these. Quite a lot of them, which is good. Um, what's that? Food. Good. I knew I'd forget what was in all of these. I think there's food in this one. That was meds, I think. And yeah, all meds there, that's, that's good to know. No one else has arrived. So I could probably just skip to the end, but let's see. Meds and food. Oh, and uh, vegetables, great. Uh, so we're not really in danger of not having food. Unless we get raided, of course. And. Mm. 
lots of weapon here, so... Uh, oh, you see the, some of these places can no longer access. Can't get there due to fighting. So they've been fighting between the militia and peacekeepers. Um, oh no, no, not peacekeepers just yet. Um, I'm not sure. There's just a lot of fighting going on in the city. Uh, that can be really frustrating if you if the evening before you've got all your resources in a place and then you can't get there. But fortunately, that hasn't happened to us. Supermarket. Okay. This is going to be a bit risky. Going to have both on guard. Going to be a bit risky because not. I, I know this area a bit. Some of these uh, levels, uh, these locations, I know better than others. Now I did want to add a few places that I didn't know too well. Um, and this, I believe, just has one soldier. So, I'm going to take the knife. I should take this, but I'm going to leave it because I think it still counts as a weapon. And so I've got two people on guard. Have I? Yeah, two people on guard. Two weapons. Because I know I'm going to have to try and attack someone. But it may go a bit tits up. Let's find out. I'm not alone here. That is correct. Also, you want to, if you are going to do combat, you don't want to be in scavenge mode. Pretty name for such a pretty face. Let's have a look. <laughs> I think if you open the door straight away, this guy just turns around and starts shooting you. So I have to wait for him. He's going to attack her, and I think he drags her off if you if you don't help her. Some characters can sort of insta-kill soldiers with, with knives and such, but I don't have a character who can do that, so that is what makes the the fight's a bit more tough. Oh shit, this isn't good. Oh no, don't shoot me. Hey! Okay, he's wounded. That's not great. Uh, could have gone worse. Could have gone better. But, uh, he's dead. Which is great. We get a weapon, we get bullets, and some booze. Really valuable. You know, the risk... Oh, fuck it. The risk is, is worth it. It does pay off. I mean, I would like to have come here with a bit more protection or a better weapon but you know it's 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 not terrible I do have a bandage as well so unless that gets nicked uh, in a raid that's kind of why I put two people on guard as well I wanted to make sure try and make sure that nothing gets stolen this evening But getting hold of this assault rifle, that's really valuable. It's great if you're going to go out on other raids, uh, not on raids, uh, scavenging dangerous places. Also really useful um, for defending. We've got a pile there, not going to get to that yet. I think there's some good stuff down here. So as I say, I know a few of these levels better than others. Um, okay, not, not amazing, but not, not bad. Anytime you get meds and these, these are really, really good. If, if somebody gets severely sick, I think you have to give them them or they will just die. Uh, so it's better than the herbal meds. Um, but yeah, so I know a few of these locations better than others, so if I'm just darting around, it's because I know a little bit of where I'm going. Um, 
and also it, it is a big advantage of knowing what's going to be in certain locations because you can know what what to bring with you so certain locations will be useful to take a shovel or uh, hey um, useful to take a shovel or uh, what are they saw blades but if you don't know that in advance then you just go there and realize that you have to come back the next night with it so it's not the end of the world but it is it is useful and as I say like if, if this were my first time playing the game I wouldn't have known about what was going to happen there uh, I think the first time I played it yeah I, I kind of didn't know what to do didn't know if there was other soldiers about and that guy uh, drags drags the woman off into there and I think it's uh, implied that he rapes her so you know quite good if you can uh, prevent that from happening obviously uh, what does this say a faded leaflet with skull and crossbones reads danger do not touch unexploded ammunition any weapons ammunition or equipment left behind or unexploded may be booby trapped do not touch anything do not risk severe injury or death report any such findings to the nearest army outpost I mean, likely just a ploy for the army to get uh, weapons and stuff. I'm your best friend. Kill you for nothing or something? Can't quite read that. I kill you for nothing. Okay. Uh, what time is it? Uh, it's not too late yet, but Marco is injured. Which does mean it's going to take him a bit longer to get around. The reason I'm running past all these is because there is something down here. So, yeah, um, might again just cut to a point where I have collected um, more stuff. Right, getting late. Yeah, this starts flashing as well when it gets very late. Uh, I'm not sure if people need to eat. Let's, let's, let's take all these weapons and stuff because we will need that. Uh, came here looking for parts. Brilliant. Eight parts. Take some water. Um, I can take this because I think they do need to eat. I will, actually. Uh, kind of an odd mix, but... There we go. Now, because Marco's wounded, we might not be able to go out scavenging with him the next night, but we'll see. If we could bandage him up, he might be okay. We were raided. Uh, we had some weapons. Oh, not enough for everyone, so maybe... Maybe the crowbar doesn't count. None of us were wounded. Okay, great. <coughs> and already he's only slightly wounded. That's that's good. Content. We haven't seen content yet, so it's by uh, a moral action. He saved a girl. How could the military do such things? <coughs> so that's had a positive effect because he's only slightly wounded. I'm actually not going to give him a bandage. Katia, content. Um, oh, shit, he needs to eat that. Ah, fuck. Go and eat that. Katia, content. Doesn't say anything, though. Uh, go and sleep. Marin, slightly wounded. Yeah, okay. Oh, wait. Uh, no one else going to say anything about it. Fair enough. So, Marco. Yeah, you just go.
Oh hey, the food's here. Great. And I think I picked up some fertilizer so I don't have to use raw food right now. Uh, what am I doing? Moran eats. So yeah, there we go, raw food. Uh, with fertilizer. At this stage, quite yeah, a bit more beneficial to use that instead of raw food because fertilizer becomes important when you're uh, making vegetables and whatnot, but we're not at a stage where we can do that. So here we go though, advanced workshop. See the temperature here is quite warm. Uh, that will drop at some stage. I don't know exactly when that's going to happen. Uh, I think I said it was going to happen halfway through, partway through, so maybe around day 17, 18, or something. And you need a you need a furnace there, uh, a heater. Uh, but you can see our advanced workshop, alcohol distillery. This is what we'll need to turn moonshine into pure alcohol. And then once you have that, you can create other things. This is what I want right now, though. Reinforced door. Uh, so this... Basically, it's as, as safe as you can make uh, your accommodation. Once you've boarded up all the doors, all the windows, so... And you've got this... It may even be that you don't need to put people on guard. Um, but I usually always have at least one person on guard just in case. But as long as you have weapons and you've got this system installed, then you should be pretty safe. So where are we? We're day eight. And, you know, we've got a fairly secure location now. What is, what is he doing? Come on, Marin, sort yourself out. Uh, what's it say here? Uh, we've reinforced the door and installed an impro improvised alarm system. Even if we're all caught sleeping, we should be able to repel most. So, yeah, there's the indication there. You probably don't need to leave anyone on guard, uh, which is really yeah, quite valuable. Uh, Think. I wonder if it's worth me creating a another gun. We'll use up all my weapon parts, but you know, having two guns very good for repelling bandit attacks. Where's our water? Forty-four. We do not have many components right now. Okay. I should also say, because uh, I haven't pointed it out yet, when you make food, and it's it's here, that also means it can't be stolen. So if you are worried about having food uh, stolen, your vegetables or your food, if you make the food, uh, then it can't be stolen. So that's a, an extra little security tip for not having valuable stuff stolen. Slightly wounded. Uh, so what's next on our list? Either the heater, because I know winter's coming again. Playing this game for the first time, you might only end up building the heater when it gets cold. And, it, and then you might find you don't have the parts. So it is good, good to be prepared, even if it is way in advance, to just have that. Um, distillery, yeah, that requires a regulator which requires parts so now we're starting to see why parts are really important you know that's what we needed to make the advanced door uh, when you want to upgrade this to a better heater that also requires one of these so yeah you, that's why you need so many of these parts consumables um, and for the time being it'll be all right I think 
think we can just end the day here. Yeah, let's do that. Now you are slightly wounded, Marco, but I'm going to take you. Uh, sleep, of course. Um, let Katia sleep. Let Bruno guard. He's, you know, useful for cooking, and we don't really need him for that at the moment. So, back to the supermarket. I'll take the crowbar this time. Okay, now we're back, and there is someone here who does come and talk to you, I believe. You heard about that soldier, what he tried to do. Good thing the girl is safe now. I think she just kind of follows you around. Just, just chatting at you. Giving you the story of uh, who the girl is. I think she's a neighbor of hers, possibly. Let's see. She lives next door, yeah, helps with the groceries. Well, that's nice, and I'm glad we could help her out. It's a bit creepy, though, that she just keeps following you around. Yeah, I did manage to get all the piles uh, last time. I mean, I would find this quite menacing. It's, it's like a, a little bit like It Follows right now. Follow me down here. Yeah. Oh, nice synchronization there, guys. Um, yeah. She's exhausted and shocked, but her family's taking care of her. Good. That's good to know. Yeah, I started making some headway on this rubble pile as well. Um, Yep, if only you had a shovel. So yeah, might cut back to once he's through. Okay, so yeah, he's through there. She's just stopped talking now. I think, I think she's... Does she still follow you? Nope, she's just, just going to hang out. Down in the supermarket basement. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, I will go to the furthest point, because it's... I think it's useful when you are scavenging to, to go f for the furthest point and then back closer. Um, not sure if that is a more efficient way of doing things, but I I find uh, I find that uh, maybe it is. Okay, so we've got all the loot piles. Found some pure alcohol and some jewellery. Some bullets. Very nice. Uh, we were lacking components. Let's take some of that. Nine sugar. Uh, I, take that. I think the guy might come and trade. We need, I think we need that. Bullets, always good. Now that we have guns. Uh, yeah, running out of bullets is not great. Uh, if, you, if, if all your defensive weapons uh, are uh, require them, um, I can take some meds because I think if the, I think the trader might come back today. And that is going to be really useful. Uh, food don't need the food just yet, so I'm going to leave that for one more day. I'll take some parts and some wood because I haven't taken any wood yet. Uh, yeah, you know what? Come back to the bullets. Yeah, let's see how that does us. Okay. So we're back, day nine. The night was calm, hungry, slightly wounded, tired. Yeah, still slightly wounded, man. That's 
madness. Normally people are not, like if they're resting most of the time, especially overnight, they they don't get, they don't stay <laughs> wounded or slightly wounded. Uh, so that is quite annoying, but at least he's not properly wounded. Um, so Katia is just standing around. So yeah, I, I did bring all these characters because, you know, they, they have useful skills, but Katia is, is a bit uh, more situational. Like if you're not trading, she's not not really that great for for much else. You know, I think she's kind of passable as a guard, but not great. Um, oh, what do we want next? Maybe I'm gonna I'm gonna just start building this because I know this will be useful later on. I don't know why I keep trying to put things down here. It's not gonna happen. All right, down there. Uh, I mean, it's always good having a fourth person because they can, you know, help out neighbours and whatnot. And she's got a better, uh, she's got more inventory slots than these two, so she does have to scavenge. That's not too bad. But yeah, these guys are usually quite useful day to day. Uh, Katia, every few days when the trader comes, or there are locations that have traders. And then, you know, she is more useful then. Speaking of which, St. Bruno's useful. I haven't had him make any alcohol in a little while. Uh, he can sleep for now. So here's our heater. We don't need to use it at the moment. Um, ah, trade. Brilliant. Uh, but we do, we will want to upgrade it. What do we want? Possibly this. And I won't probably won't upgrade this just yet, but it will be good to know how much is needed for that. So what's it going to be? Uh, we have. I feel these are useful for you know getting clean water, uh, fuel useful. You know all of this is pretty useful. What do we have to trade? Let's just trade. Ah, well, actually, let's trade the diamonds first. Fine, let's get a bullet as well. Can we get too much fuel? No, and sugar. Fine, no, that's as much as we're getting out of that. Fine. And. Um, let's. See what we got. We don't have that many materials, but sugar, more, more booze. And let's trade some of these. I think we can get away with trading a few of them for weapon parts. Fine, we have a deal. Okay. So yeah, that needs another thermoregulator, which requires electric parts, which we have nine. Okay, that's not bad. Um, I do want to see how much it costs for the alcohol distillery, because that's probably our next our next thing to create. Okay, we have everything we need pretty much all our components though, we just need this. So that's not too bad. I'm going to be very low on components though. So, very generous. How much fuel can we get? Quite a bit. And I think, I think we even have one of these lying around. So I could probably just sell them both and have one spare. Uh, and obviously all of this is useful. Um, but right now... Just components. A bit of fuel. A bit of wood. No, 
time. And yeah, let's choose the last the last one for some very generous. Okay, we might have might have outdone ourselves with that. Just for some wood. So you know what? Let's try one of these. Okay. Have a deal. Good. Great, that'll do. Cheers. And what was I even creating? Oh yeah, the moment thing. So Oh yeah, Bruno is awake. We'll get him creating alcohol. We got some filters. So that means we can make more water. You can kind of start to see how you can end up becoming a bit more self-sustaining. You know, you... Yeah, how many can we make here? Another five, great. Uh, you know, we're getting water. We're using that water to make alcohol. And we can use the alcohol to trade for, you know, items that help us make more. Um... I probably should have traded the alcohol instead of the, <laughs> instead of the meds. Ah well. Um, I'm gonna... Yeah, I think I need to make a bit of space. Chop this down here. Yeah, we'll just take this now. We should hopefully be able to defend ourselves. So... I'll make that in a sec. Let's just let's just grab all of this. Oh, I forgot there was something in there, wasn't there? Food. Yeah, great. Let's take all that. The distillery. Um, I think I'm going to have to verify this once the distiller is built, but you need alcohol, you need fuel, and you may need filters as well. Yeah, alcohol, filter, fuel. See, Katia uses two fuel here, but if we come here with Bruno, Bruno it's just one. Uh, and one alcohol, one moonshine, creates two pure alcohol. So, you know, with this five moonshine, we can create ten pure alcohol. Which then you can use, say, for trading. Or uh, to make bandages. We haven't got to that point yet. Probably be the next thing... I make actually not an armchair. Oh, I can make it now. Oh, that's good. Herbal workshop. Let's do that. Let's put that over here as well. Take the herbal meds. Screw it. Why not? Definitely going to get raided and lose them now, aren't I? Our things. Got one filter. It's not great. Uh, we don't have many components. Let's actually, and again, this can't be stolen because it's not technically in our inventory yet. So if you are worried about losing stuff like that, but now we can make one. We can make two pure alcohol. That'll do. Just to show you how it works. Um, so yeah, if I don't pick that up, then there's no chance of it possibly getting stolen. Uh, so create the pure alcohol and then herbal meds and cigarettes you can create cigarettes here you can create bandages we just need the pure alcohol um, and herbs we haven't really talked about herbs yet um, 
really useful, really great, because that's how you're going to create all this stuff. Uh, but not anything that we have actually focused on yet. But as you see, like in the early game, herbs, you know, they don't get a look in because you know, you've got to focus on on food and boarding up the place. But now we're in a spot where we can. Uh, if I collect that. Now we're in a spot where we can start creating medication and stuff. Herbs become really valuable. And they're very cheap as well, so that's really useful. So here we go, we can create a bandage. We can create a herbal med. Um, yeah, let's... Uh, I don't want to use up all our components. So we'll just create a herbal, herbal med. And will that get done? Maybe. Scavenge, I should probably let him heal at some point. Marin. Alright, Bruno, guard, Katy asleep, scavenge. And yeah, these places are still out of bounds. But yeah, let's uh let's just scavenge that. <laughs> And I did collect everything, I believe. So we can just have a look at what's, what we got going on. We'll want to take this back with us if this is the last time we come here. I don't know. Bullets, yes. Uh, components we're very short on. Wood. I mean, I might come back here again, actually, because... Yeah, there just seems to be a lot of valuable stuff here. Food. Pretty sure we've got enough food back at the house uh, so you know I'm gonna take all the materials <sighs> that does mean the next day I come here I'm not gonna be collecting any materials but there is you know a lot of good stuff here still so I think that's okay also there's there's nothing that is imperative for us to to build next. I don't think you know we've got the moonshine distillery. We've got the uh, herbal garden. So already, I think we're what day? What day did that say? No, it was calm. I'm surprised by this. The last the last time I I played when I was just getting used to the game again. I got raided so much in the early game, and I'm pretty sure I put this on high intensity. Um, but yeah, that, I, we've not been raided much at all. Um, Bruno's going to have to make some food. I'll try and make this day a quick one. Uh, I have a dearest friend who always worries a lot. One day she called me terrified saying there was a riot outside. The secessionists were inciting the crowd to burn the town hall. I told her not to worry, and I was right. Nothing came of it this time. But even when the riots and fighting became everyday news, I kept assuring her it would all blow over soon. Oh, come on, Marin. Uh, yeah, so we'll make a bit of food. Let's let's actually make let's make six. Why not? Uh, too bad there's no coffee. Yeah, sure. Oh, nobody finished making that. So go there. Katia, very hungry. Fine. So there we go. Herbal bandage is now. Up there, double meds. If we upgrade this again, we can make uh, uh, the, the, the really good meds. But I find that you can get through the game quite easily without that. If uh, if we do reach that point, that'll probably be the last thing that I upgrade. And where is he? There he is.
Yeah, let's see. What haven't we got yet? Uh, this herbal garden, useful. That's where you're going to create. You can actually create the herbs that you then use for meds. So that that is going to be an important thing to to build. Could create the radio, but it, it's not that useful, really. Uh, slightly wounded, so yeah, you can you can go down. If we upgrade this again, we can create bullets, and also if we find uh, uh, broken shotguns, broken assault rifles, or, or broken uh, like helmets, bulletproof vests, and whatnot, we can fix them <laughs> there. So that could be useful. I think this upgrade might be. Good uh, I need help. Please open. Is this the same woman as before? It might be. So yeah, we... an improved heater. Not a necessity just yet, but good to have this for when it gets cold. Uh, that may still be a little while off, so it might not be that important for us, but it's good to know... Oh, shit good to know what you need, you know. This requires more electric parts, more parts, more components, so I don't think there's really much else we could build today. Uh, hello again, how are you doing? Thanks for all... Thanks to your help, all the wounded recovered and went back to their homes. One of them still needs bandages and I've run out. Could you spare any? Yes! I think we can. Might regret that. Thank you so much, you're saving that man's life again. Great to be able to do that. Uh, everyone is... no one's... yeah, everyone's eaten. Uh, might make some components for more water. Uh, or filters, I should say. Yeah, let's do that, although we are still very low on components and not going to go and get any more components this evening. How does everyone feel about... no one seems to have any thoughts about giving the bandages away? Fair enough. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to keep the components just in case. Mm, saying that, Yeah, let's just end the day there, and then I'll pick up the goods, we'll come back, and I'll probably call it there. Lorraine, are you going to sleep? Ah, oh, what a surprise. Katia, yes, yeah, sleep, Bruno Guard. Let's see that. Oh, these places are no longer uh, unavailable. So, yeah, this should be the last time we come here. Not going to get any components or anything, but... Um, still be really useful. There's still some, some good stuff here. Grab all. Oh, look at that. Brilliant. You even get the bear. Broken toy. I think these actually have value if you use the if you're playing the DLC where you have kids. I think maybe having toys is you know, cheers them up or something. I haven't played that DLC, so I'm not too sure. Uh but yeah, we managed to get everything that was here. So yeah, that's uh, turned out well. And let's see how that day went. How the night went, I should say. Calm again. It's very surprising. You know, 
<laughs> if you've played this game before, or, if, or if perhaps I've even talked to you about it, talk about how tough it is, this hasn't been that bad at all. Um, but I think we'll call it there, and uh, yeah, um, might make another video later, or throughout the week. It's a Sunday today, so it's a bit of spare time. Um, yeah, well, see you soon.